Um, Elson, thanks so much for being here. We're super excited to host you. Um, for those who don't know Elson, Elson is a UW employee um, who is originally from Istanbul, Turkey. She has five years of belly dance teaching experience, and we are very honored to host her for the first time on Zoom. Um, this last year, obviously, a lot has changed, and Elson hasn't been able to teach, so um, we're super excited to have you with us. Elson's classes are based on Turkish-style belly dancing with Romani and folk dance as well. Um, she's been teaching since she was in or she's been teaching since she was in college and has danced um, in dance clubs and workshops, um, as well as teaching workshops. So we're super excited to have you, Elson. I'm going to go ahead and let you take it away. Um, and I'm here, you know, for any sound support as needed. Thank you so much. And uh, hello, everybody. My name is Achin. Welcome to the introductory belly dancing class. Uh, as Anna told, I have been teaching belly dance to all different age groups for many years. I teach elementary and intermediate level of belly dance and Romani, the gypsy dance. So my style is Turkish. It's very similar to Egyptian belly dance, but it is blended with uh, Romani and Çiftetali, one of the uh, Turkish folk dance. Um, today class is an introduction. So we will be covering the fundamentals of belly dance posture, and I will show you five most popular classic movements and basic techniques. So um, maybe you are uh, somebody who always interested in belly dance, but you never had an opportunity to try it before. Maybe you just heard about it. It doesn't matter. This is just an introduction, and we are here to have fun. Uh, I don't want you to think too much or force yourself, force your body too much. Just follow me and trust your body. Uh, at the end of the class, you will be surprised how well your body is doing it. And um, in the past years, I heard from my students, I am not good enough. I can't do that. That's OK. That's OK. You are all awesome. All these moments demand on practice and time. So everybody has a different relationship to their body. Don't worry if you can't do that. Just hear the music and just let your body hear the beat and the rhythm. The one thing I want you to do today is just smiling. Okay, don't forget <laughs> smiling. This dance is very energetic and encourage you to feel your body and find an engagement with your mind. So um, I think I talked too much. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna stand up. Uh, you are not going to see my face, but it's okay. Um, please unmute yourself if you have any question or uh, if you want me to show again or slow down. Okay, and uh, I will stay a couple of minutes after the class. If you have any question, I will be here to answer them. Okay, so we are going to start with classic hip pushes. This is also called hip lifts or drops. I can say this is a foundation of belly dance because so many other movements are based on this. So let's start with neutral position. This is my neutral position, the basic belly dance posture. The key is, never forget that one, knees are bent. It is very important. Keeping the knees is very important in order to be able to do a lot of belly dance isolation. So the lower you are to the ground, the bigger hip movements are available. So tuck your tailbone, keep your abs engaged, chest and chin is lifted, arms are out to the side. So this is my neutral position from the side. Okay, I'm going to start with right leg. So your weight is mostly here on the left foot. Put your left, put your all weight into the left leg. I will have a step over to the front with my toe, like this. In other words, I will touch, I will touch the floor with my toe, and I will bring my legs together. Okay. We will lift the right heel off the floor and touch and step back together. Other side, lift, touch, together. Lift, touch, together. Now, as I touch the floor, I will 
lift my hip up and drop again touch up drop together other side touch up down together it is like there's something on the floor when you touch it your hip bounces so touch bounce down together touch bounce down together be careful what i'm doing when i touch the floor my hip is going to go to the up diagonal opposite up diagonal so if you are squeezing your right hip up your hip going to aim to the left upper corner let's reverse it touch up aiming to the right corner drop together touch up down together touch up down together again touch up down together touch up down together this is the very basic uh movement you can also do a step over to the back it is exactly the same what i'm going to do i'm going to have a small step to the back with my toe i'm going to touch up down together touch up down together the only difference is if you little bit slide your body to the side to side it is easier to do that touch up down together touch up down together another moment is you can have a step over to the right it's exactly same thing touch up down together touch up down together now i'm going to do it little faster and see how it looks like to the back to the right left also you can do double pushes like touch push push neutral touch push push neutral you can do it 20 times 30 times five times it's up to the music up to the rhythm so let's try double touch up up together touch up up together now i'm going to try this with the music so you will see okay let's touch the front first touch come back touch come back touch come back to the back touch come back touch back touch back to the side touch 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 to the front touch 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 to the back touch touch wait touch touch wait touch touch wait touch touch wait side front back now we are going to do double to the front now get ready for the double i will tell you or we can do uh seven times let's do seven times i'm waiting for the rhythm now one two three four five six seven other side one two three four five six seven back one two three four five six seven other side one two three four five six seven side one two three four five six seven 
Okay, let's turn off the music. I can't see what uh, <laughs> I can't see how you did, but I'm sure you are awesome. So these are the classic hip pushes. We will practice them again after the other second move movement. <clears throat> so sexy movements are actually again hip pushes, but we are gonna add some variation to this. Again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to touch and come back. But this time, it is like my left heel is kneeled on the floor. I can't, uh, I can't move it. It is just here. You can um, turn, change the direction, but never uh, off the floor. It is nailed on the floor. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to touch hit my toe, come back, and change the direction of my left foot. Again, touch, come back, and change the direction, touch. By touching also, I bring my hip up, drop, neutral. Change the direction, touch, up, down, neutral. Change direction, touch, up, down, neutral. Again, touch, up, drop, neutral, change, touch, up, down, neutral, change, touch, up, down, neutral, change, touch, up, down, neutral, Touch, I'm sorry, touch, up, down, neutral. So let's try to do this a little bit faster. Touch, neutral, touch, neutral, touch, neutral, touch, neutral, touch, neutral, touch, and neutral. Let's try to the other side. Touch, neutral, touch, neutral, touch, back, out, back. Out, back, out, back, out, back. You can play with this if you want. You can do double push like this. Or you can keep it simple. Just one push. Let's try other side, double. Push, push together, push. Push together, push, push together. So this is our first variation. Second variation is you can walk around your room by doing the exact same thing. I'm gonna touch, I'm not going to come back. I'm gonna touch and touch with the other leg. Touch, touch, or you can go back, touch, push, Touch and push, touch and push, touch and push. I'm gonna go this direction. Touch, push, touch, push, touch and push. Or I'm gonna go this direction. Touch and push, touch and push, touch and push. Or I can go back. So you are free. You are free, you can walk all around the room. It's up to you, it's up to the rhythm. So this was our uh, second variation of the hip pushes. Hmm. Now we are gonna learn twist, my favorite movement. Why it is my favorite? Because twists are lifesavers. <laughs> twists are usually um, used for transition from one movement to other movements. So if you are stuck and you don't know what to do and you don't want to wait in the middle of the music like saying like this, you can just twist your hip. So to do twist, again, to my neutral position, knees are uh, bent, chest lifted, chin lifted, arms are out. Um, feel like my hips slide, it's going to slide forward and back. 
So you are sliding your hip and coming back. So this thing is all the way front by keeping your chest completely neutral and hand, hand stay still and reverse it. By coming back, the other one is going forward. It is completely horizontal movement. There is no lift or up. Try to don't uh, move your upper body. You can use your legs to help you push the hip up like this. You need to be very controlled and balanced. Feel like you are separating your upper body from lower body. Push, 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 push. It is happening just below the rib cage. So I'm going to show you how to use twist to, to as a transition between one uh, two movements, and also we are going to practice the variations with the music. How I'm gonna do? Transition. what to do here I can just twist and I can lean to the right or to the left or I can just twist let's try this one I'm gonna do a little bit faster here. Okay, so let's try together again. I'm gonna start over the music. Did you see how I used to this as a transition? Let's start with the first thing we learned. Twist, back. Twist, side. Twist. Make a circle. Other side. Side. Now I'm going to walk to the front, the forward. Now back. Sides. And front. Twist, back, twist, side, 
twist sides twist front twist back twist sides twist sides twist circle a little bit faster sides twist sides So we learned hip pushes to the front, hip pushes to the back, hip pushes to the right and left, and we learned make a circle and traveling with hip pushes, traveling to the front and traveling to the back. And we learned how to do twists. Now uh, we are going to learn another traveling hip lift. This is a little bit different, but uh, similar as well. So again, neutral position, knees are bent, chest lifted. So you are going to lift your right heel off the floor and keep the, uh, keep the left knee bent always. Now you are going to take a little step over to the right side, then shuffle the left foot over to the right foot. Make sure you are keeping the right heel off the floor. Like this. And left, uh, left heel on the floor. So we actually push the hip all the way up and step up to the right and come together. So again, off the floor and my hip goes up at the same time. Step, together. Up, step, together. Up, step, together. Let's try other side. Up, step, together. Up, step, together. Up, step, together. This side, up, step, together, up, step, together, up, step, together. Let's try to do it a little bit faster. Up, together, up, together, up, together. Other side, up, together, up, together, up, together. From the side, up, together, up, together up together up together up together up together you can add your arms as well you can do you can use your hands to say uh, active arms and active leg like this you can push with your hands Elson can you yeah can you can you show us the uh, I'm having trouble getting my feet to go together. I feel like they're in the wrong place. Can you show us the feet again, please? Yeah. So first, uh, off the floor, the heel is off the floor. Okay. And your hip goes up, push with your hip to up and have a small step. Then just bring your other leg together. Uh -huh. Again, I'm going to do really slow, neutral position. And this side. From this side. Thank you, that was very helpful. Yeah, you're welcome. 
Okay, let's try to do it a little bit faster. It is easier if you do it faster, actually. This is traveling hip lift to the side to side. It is pretty easy, but it sounds also complicated, I know. Okay, uh, let's try with the music, uh, with all these moments. Let's put them together. So let's see how it looks like. Back with the front, back. Side, twist, now go to the right, go to the left, right, left, right, left, front. Now twist. Now we are gonna go to the right side, but a little bit faster. Now. Twist. Again. 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 Front, back. Now make a circle. And let's try it again. And let's start with touching the floor. the back sides front back sides I'm gonna move this side Another side again and I'm going to travel all around the room Twist, 
right twist left twist awesome so uh, now uh, you are free I'm gonna give you a four minutes I'm gonna turn on the music and you're gonna Create your own dance with, with what you learned today. Also, I will dance here. You can copy me or you can just do whatever you want. You are free. Okay. Normally, I select different music, but this time I'm going to give them one because you already know it. Awesome. <laughs> okay, music. Okay, one more thing we are gonna learn today is making a hip circles. Please don't push your belly, uh, your back too much. It, it hurts. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Just be careful. Um, again, uh, it's my neutral position. I'm going to imagine there are two circles here. One is small. The other one is a little bit big. So I'm staying and feel like someone pulling me from my belly to the front like this, to the left, to the back, and right and front. You can imagine uh, there are eight dots on the circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they are pulling my body. Don't move your upper body, just your belly. The front, to the right, to the back, to the left. And to the front. So I am making a circle. I'm drawing a circle with my belly. Nice and small. Please be careful. Look on the side. Just making a small circle. 
Let's try to do other side. Keep your knees bent. Don't forget that. Or you can make half circles like like a C. I'm gonna draw a C. Start from here. I make a C and stop here. And go back and stop here. I'm not gonna go to the front. I'm making a C. I'm gonna make the other C on the floor uh, on the front. C. And then I'm gonna keep continue drawing my circle. Now try to make a bigger circle. You can lean your upper body, it's okay, because it's a very big circle. Other side. Another variation to this is you can bounce your body while making a circle. My knees are bent, my feet on the floor, just jumping, I'm bouncing my body, making a circle. Stop here and go back. Let's try with the music. Let's combine all of them together again. Front, twist, back, twist, side, twist. Now, I'm gonna make a circle. A little bit jumping. Other side. I'm making a C actually here. circle other side or without bouncing If you make circles small and fast, it looks like this. Try again. Our classic move. Back. Sides. 
going to travel to this side, then I will come back to this side, and I will go up and back. And make a circle. Small circle. Half circle. Circle. questions so far or do you want me to show one more time or are we good can you show okay. the neutral position of the tailbone at the very start um just show me if the yeah. tailbone is pushed out is it neutral is it pushed in so you just need to relax your upper body but Tailbone is a little bit tucked. Ah. Like this. Not like this. Just a little bit. If you stay like this, it's a little bit difficult to do movements, but if you push your tailbone front, it's easier. Thank you. Ah, of course. Okay, uh, let's practice all of them again. I'm gonna turn on the music. Oh, someone asked me uh, in the chat, uh, in private message. I want to see the uh, gypsy dance. At the end of the class, I can show you how it looks like. Okay. okay. Let's move to the right. Twist, left, front, back, front, back, sides, now, gonna make a circle. Other side. Sides. Back. I'm also going to the back. Circle. 
change the music this time. <laughs> okay, how many minutes we have? We have 10 minutes. Uh, we can take the test one more time. Wait. Yeah. So, again, you are free. I'm going to turn on the music and you will just dance. So as I told you, you can copy me, it's okay, but I want you to do your own moment. Just listen to music and dance. I just want you to do that. Okay, let's change the music this time.
Now let's start with traveling kit this time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining today. Thank you, Elson. Do you have any questions? <laughs> so fun. Um, I will going to dance. Uh, I will going to show uh, how gypsy dance looks like because someone asked me to show. Uh, if you wanna stay, you can watch me. Okay. Yes, please. Let me find the music here. Art flow.
Thank you so much, Elsin. Thank you very much. It was great. That was great. It was exciting. Thank you for watching. <laughs> wow. That was great fun. Thank you. That was awesome. What a great like core hip workout after working all day. That was amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Well, have a great night, everybody. Great job on, you know, learning something new and learning a new way to move. Um, and I hope everybody has a great night.